the Strauss Oboe Concerto was um, written in 1945, um, just after the Second World War. It's um, probably the best and certainly the most famous concerto for oboe. Strauss wrote it near the end of his life and it was part of um, what's been called an Indian summer of creativity. He hadn't written anything that major for quite a while and suddenly there was this creative flourish of the oboe concerto and the four last songs. What he did was revert back to more classical models for his composition, so emanating more of Mozart and Beethoven of the past because he had quite a strong feeling that the Third Reich in the Second World War had destroyed true German culture and true German values. Um, so he was going back to his youth and you know people he very much admired. The Strauss sometimes inspires fear amongst oboe players. Actually, when you start learning it, it's just so well written, uh, so beautifully crafted, um, that you get over the, the physical side. Um, Oboists over the years have developed particular ways of doing this. Uh, one of them is this technique called circular breathing. So I'm going to play the first 16 bars of the concerto, um, the first movement, and if you watch closely, in bar 11, I'm going to circular breathe by blowing through my, uh, with my cheeks out of my mouth while inhaling through my nose at the same time in order that I can complete the whole 16 bars in, uh, without having to take a breath. 